Hello, I'm Dave Kane with the State Journal Register. You're watching SJR.com. We're here at Illinois College today with Rich Thompson, head coach of the Triopia Trojans. Rich, congratulations on making it to, I think you told the kids after the game Saturday, you we're, we're going to the big show. Yeah, we're. Uh, thank you, Dave. We're pretty excited to be, to be getting an opportunity to go play for the title. Absolutely. Uh, you know, you're here at IC, I guess, today and Tuesday and Wednesday mm -hmm. because I guess they were gracious, gracious enough to let you use their facility to kind of get used to this. Uh, is this, this is called field turf, is that yes, right? Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly the proper name for it, but, uh, you know, this is very similar to what they'll have at the U of I. So we thought we could come over very, you know, local here, and uh, and uh, Illinois College was very gracious enough to let us come use our facility. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great great experience for the kids, and uh, hopefully we can get used to this turf. Absolutely. Uh, Talk about a little bit about you know these these days. I know you said after the game Saturday it's going to be crazy around school and everything. So, but just talk about this week a little bit as far as practice schedule, when you're going to go to Champaign, just mm -hmm. kind of the, the timetable. Well, uh, like you mentioned before, we're going to be here uh, this evening, and then we're going to get back on the bus and go home and watch some some film. We we do that a lot in the playoffs. Uh, watch you know 20 30 minutes of film a night. So we'll do that tonight, and we'll have the same schedule tomorrow. School, we'll get out about 2.40 and then get on the bus and come back over here. And then uh, Wednesday we get out at 2 o'clock, so we'll come over about 2.30 and go to about 4.30. And then uh, Thursday our kids are going to um, – we're not exactly sure on Thursday what our schedule is going to be, but we want our kids to have time to spend uh, some time with their families. Sure. And, uh, and uh, then we'll probably get together Thursday afternoon, have a little walk through practice, and get on a bus and head over to Champaign to spend the evening, get ready for the game on Friday. Yeah. What about, you know, I mean, roughly, I know it's at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Not, not your typical game <laughs> no. day routine, but uh, I mean, about what time do you hope you get to the to the stadium, like on Friday well, morning, yeah, 8 o'clock uh, or not? The U of I, I mean, they, the IHSA really plans it out well for you. In fact, I was contacted by a lot of people today, but uh, we're going to plan on eating breakfast around 7 o'clock, and then about 7.40, we're going to get on our bus, and they're going to, they police escort you right down to the stadium to get you through the traffic. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try and get there about 10 to 8, and uh, start taping at 8 o'clock, and do what we normally do before a football game, and which is get there two hours before and get ready. Absolutely. Uh, Talk from what you've seen so far, you know, Stark County as far as on film. I, apparently they do, they like to throw the ball, especially for a 1A type team. Yeah, um, they're, they're a spread football team. Um, they've got some tall wide receivers, 165 and 164, and they, they like to throw the ball up and let those guys try and go up and get it. So that'll be quite a challenge for our kids. But uh, fortunately, we played against a pretty good passing team the other day in Salt Fork and a good quarterback in J.D. Leonard. And, uh, and I think, you know, as the game went on, we got a little better at covering the passing game. So hopefully that experience for last week will carry into this game. Yeah. Uh, and obviously you're you are a running ball control yeah. team so get the first downs you know grind it out eat up some clock to keep their to keep their offense off the field right yeah you know i mean that's that's we got a pretty simple philosophy and that's keep a hold of the ball and and uh, sometimes your best defense is your offense keeping it away from the other team but uh, we've got to s sustain some drives and not turn the ball over and, and to minimize the penalties and then on defense you know we're going to have to uh, you know, get some pressure on the quarterback probably. If he's got a chance to set back there for a long time, somebody's going to come open. So uh, kind of the same ingredients as last week. Yeah. Uh, and I know I asked you about this the other day, but again, just talking about uh, this is only your second year as coach at Triopia, but you are from this area, you know, mm -hmm. Cass County, Morgan County. Uh, it just, you know, for you personally as a coach and as somebody who grew up around here, uh, what what's this mean to you to you know to be able to take a, a group of you know area kids over to, to Memorial Stadium? Well, it, it means a, a lot to me. I uh, like I, I told you before, Dave. I really looked up to the football players when I was in school and in high school. Looked up to the college kids, and uh, and I've always had the utmost respect for coaches. Uh, one of the biggest influences in my life was Bob Long, who was my head football coach, and I was lucky enough to coach under. And uh, you know, I I just uh, it, it, he was never able to accomplish that, but he he instilled a lot of uh, uh, work ethic and, and, and certain things in football that I believe in. And uh, to, to be able to take a team over there and do some of the things that coach taught me, and, and uh, to be able to kind of live it, it's, it's a dream come true for myself. And and you know, to represent this community. Uh, it means a lot to me. 